dear students today we will discuss the two component systems if uh, suppose we have degree of freedom f is equal to c minus p plus 2 we that is the formula of degree of freedom and when the component is uh, if suppose we take on the 2 or if component we take on the one therefore it is a one and suppose phase is one therefore one plus two degree of freedom is the two if phase is one and if phase we take on for one component system is a two then the degree of freedom is equal to one and if the phase okay phase is for we we take on three plus two is equal to zero degree of freedom is zero okay if suppose this is this system is a uh, if ice water equilibrium with the vapor okay the phase is increases the variables is increases okay degree of freedom is increases okay phase 2 increases degree of freedom decreases phase increases degree of freedom is uh, decreases okay as the phase increases the degree of freedom is decreases okay therefore if uh, your degree of freedom to means you have to use the two coordinate okay temperature and the pressure okay maximum number of okay less uh, less number by taking less number of phases we have find out the number of variables for a system okay suppose for a water we have taken the minimum number of phases for finding out the how many number of variables we have to use for the describe of this system okay therefore minimum number of phases is one okay in any systems minimum number of phases is one okay therefore for the finding out the variables variables mean for the finding out the graph which variables you phase diagrams for the um, drawing the phase diagram which variables is required we find out from the uh, we we take the very um, one phase okay very minimum phase one and then you found that there is a temperature and the pressure is required for describing the this system okay for finding out these variables in a graph which type of graph you required which variables temperature pressure requires we find out by using the minimum amount of phases and then you can easily say that the, there is a two <coughs> variables required to find out to describe the this system <coughs> if suppose we have in this case we have <coughs> two component is there okay therefore for two component we put the c as a two and minimum number of <coughs> phases okay minimum number of phases is on for any system is the one and minimum of number of phases give the variables which type of graph which type of diagrams you should require is given by this minimum number of uh, freedom uh, is obtained okay by the minimum number of phases the freedom is obtained that is these are the variables required for the description of the <coughs> system okay therefore in this case three your degree of freedom is three therefore you should require the three uh, three variables okay these are the namely pressure temperature and concentration or composition okay for this case or two component system pressure temperature and composition okay <coughs> therefore your graph is looks like that okay that is uh, x y and z therefore your graph is the three dimensional graph is difficult to draw and to study the three dimension is uh, difficult or complicated one therefore in this case boiling point of zinc is very high and also cadmium is the very high therefore the vapors is strongly exist in at the boiling points and the, you found that your diagram is start from the 400 uh, that is melting point of zinc is the 419 and um, cadmium is the 300 21 degrees celsius okay therefore practically okay at this temperature practically pressure uh, 
वेपर्स इज अपसेट और इफ प्रेजेंट इन स्मॉल अमाउंट वेरी वेरी स्मॉल इज देर ओके वी कैन निगलेक्ट इट ओके वी कैन नॉट कंसिडर इट देर फॉर द प्रेशर इज मोस्टली अफेक्ट प्रेशर मोस्टली अफेक्ट द वेपर फेजेस दैट इज गैस फेजेस ओके देर फॉर इन दिस केस वेपर्स इज वी हैव निगलेक्टेड बिकॉज वेरी स्मॉल अमाउंट वेपर्स इज देर therefore we can neglect these things okay therefore by neglecting the, there is a very uh, there is a gas is less therefore we can neglect this okay pressure therefore less useful variant we can remove okay? we can remove okay therefore by uh, removing it <laughs> we have we can describe system by using pressure sorry by using temperature and composition only okay why we remove the third variant pressure because the, there is no vapor uh, vapor is there therefore uh, pressure only affect the gases for the liquids and the solids the pressure is the very minim minimum effect on solids and the liquids therefore we have neglect the pressure because there is practically no vapors found in this system okay therefore we have removed it okay one one of the degree of freedom we have removed therefore new equation for degree of freedom will be c minus p plus 1 okay this is the new reduced equation okay this is a condensed equation this is called as condensed equation or new reduced equation remember condensed equation or the new reduced of equation this equation we will use for the describing of this phase diagram for two component zinc and cadmium okay now we will move towards this we have uh, discussed why this we rule we use and now we are um, explain this graph okay along this graph at the one side there is temperature and other side there is a composition is there okay okay at the start we have 100% zinc okay at the start we have zinc and the temperature of that zinc at this point okay 100% zinc is there 100% zinc is there and the temperature of this zinc is the 490 degree celsius okay therefore the temperature 490 degree celsius that is it is a melted form at that point you are um zinc is the melted okay as this case you are adding the cadmium okay to do zinc we have adding the cadmium okay okay cadmium we added as the you add the cadmium okay at the second you increases the per percentage addition addition of the cadmium okay as you add the cadmium there is a decrease in melting point of the zinc test phase okay through these lines you there is a um, this line is a melting point curve or freezing point curve this is the melting point curve for zinc okay because through these lines there is a zinc is in the melted form okay melted form <laughs> okay through this uh, uh, line there is equilibrium zinc plus zinc plus cd liquid with the equilibrium zinc plus cd liquid okay therefore the this is the common one therefore this is a zinc solid is equilibrium with zinc plus cd solution okay along the this line okay now when you consider the cadmium at this b point cadmium is the 100% cadmium is there okay the composition of and 0% zinc is not present in this case and the temperature at the 321 degree celsius therefore that is a melted form you are cadmium at this point is the melted and there is a cadmium a liquid form also and the solid form is also okay therefore as you add the zinc the melting point of cadmium goes on decreasing okay when you add this zinc other substance at a particular point these two lines is is get uh, intercept and that is called as the u tilted point okay now 
side by side we will describe the line B curve BC that curve BC is the melting point curve of the uh, cadmium and this is the melting point curve of the zinc okay melting point curve of the zinc okay now let us find out the number of uh, degree of freedom for each area and the curves okay okay in this case at these places above to ao and above bo okay above aob okay above aob there is only solution form zinc is mixed with the cd they, therefore the molten form is there and the homogeneous molten form is there therefore zinc when um, mixed with the cadmium molten it is homogeneous therefore it is forms only one for the solution only one phase is present therefore for the this region phase is one p is equal to one then we have the degree of freedom that is f dash is the reduced degree of freedom will be is equal to c minus p plus one okay instead of two we use the one that is a reduced equation c is equal to for this component we have known that our system is the two component therefore c is always two minus phases is the one plus one therefore it is a bivariant system two value means it is a bivariant system one phase is there and system is the bivariant and in, in this case only zinc and cadmium is present okay this is a bivariant system by using the phase rule we have find out system is a bivariant system now the area along this and area along this okay the um, below the ao and below the bo okay one and the same okay in this case also there is one and the same uh, thing is observed that is zinc is one of the solid and liquid is the is there therefore two phase system is there solid and the liquid in this case also air is the solid cd and the liquid gen plus okay therefore solid plus liquid two phases is present okay therefore the degree of freedom you can found that phases for this system for this area is the two therefore degree of freedom is equal to c minus p plus one therefore component is two phases is two therefore one degree of freedom for this area is a one okay as the phases increases degree of freedom is the decreases we have seen previously one variant and mono variant system mono variant and mono variant system okay now next this area solid zinc and solid zinc okay therefore in this area below to this area there is a two phase system is there therefore there is a two phases <coughs> and therefore it is also monovariant system it is also monovariant system when you add the phases number two it gives the answer one it is a monovariant system <coughs> okay now at the point o the, the point o is the eutectic point in this point zinc solid is observed cadmium solid is all the phases is present as like water water has the triple point okay, we given the triple point all the phases present at the triple point also in this case cadmium solid and the liquid uh, liquid cadmium plus zinc is there therefore all the phases is present okay it is one phase for one solid second phase and this is liquid homogeneous therefore three phases okay at the u point o there are three phases therefore by using the reduced uh, equation c minus p plus one therefore component is two phases is the three plus one therefore it is zero this system is zero variant system okay you if you change the uh, temperature then system is converted into solution of zinc plus cd and if you decrease at that point temperature uh, <coughs> temperature then uh, the solid zinc and solid cadmium is obtained and uh, <coughs> this eutectic point is observed for this system 83 percent cadmium is there and 70 percent zinc is there and at that particular temperature you have found the eutectic point okay in eutectic point you found that zinc is a solid form cadmium is solid and the liquid 
cadmium zinc is there okay the all the phases is present at the eutectic point and the, when the phases increases degree of freedom is decreased the three phases is there for this case degree of freedom is zero when you vary any of composition vary if you vary the composition then your eutectic point disturb you vary the temperature eutectic point is disturbed and you vary the um, <coughs> temperature eutectic point is um, disturb okay therefore it is a zero variant system eutectic point is a zero variant system now we will discuss the two curves that is a curve first through this curve okay curve a o through this curve you found that there is a solid zinc is there and plus zinc seed solution and the zinc cadmium solution one and the same plus solution okay therefore this on this line okay on this line of your zinc is melted and it is a uh, equilibrium with the um, with the solution and the zinc okay there is equilibrium at that point present therefore it is a two phase system zinc is a solid and a solution two phase system therefore degree of uh, freedom f dash that is uh, reduced is equal to c minus p plus one okay Cap. component is two phases is the two plus one therefore it is a monovariant system this system is a monovariant a o is a that is a melting point curve or melting point line is the monovariant system for the on along this line same we have applied there okay in this case cadmium solid is there and it is equilibrium zinc plus sodium solution and the zinc plus sodium okay, and the same these two things are the same therefore one phase is solid other is the solid there are two phases therefore we put the two phases and system is the monovariant system therefore this system is a uh, bi component system uh, two component system and we have explained in this uh, lecture and i hope you got all these uh, points thank you very much